Kroger coming out racing its forecast. Oh, what are you shrugging for, son? No, no, I just, Kroger doesn't do it for me sometimes. Kroger doesn't doesn't do it for you sometimes. How many companies are coming out here and raising forecasts? What does it take to impress you, Brian I need I need stories like Kohl's. I need things falling off a map. You know, that really really gets me going. But uh, look, not not a bit. The the earnings per share this year are going to be as high as $4.05 a share. And the previous forecast upper end was $3.95. Maybe because I'm not a Kroger shopper, I can't get it. But in this environment. This is a good quarter. Listen, in this environment, raising a forecast Mm -hmm. is good. Good. And it's pretty rare that we are seeing this. Uh, it does say, you know, I am seeing some commentary that this wasn't unexpected. Mm-hmm. Part of the thing here is that Kroger, like many grocery stores, in this period, people trade down to private label. Private label tends to be higher margin. Mm-hmm. And so that seems to be the case at Kroger, and that seems to be what's driving some of this. And also, too, a lot of this, uh, these results from Kroger, these salt, strong sales gains, reflect the price increases being, that they have to pass mm-hmm. through from their vendors, uh, Campbell's Soup, uh, McCormick, all these companies, Pepsi, Coke, they have all increased prices. That, of course, will impact or positively influence uh, Kroger sales. And, and I go back to what Walmart CFO John Rennie told us a couple weeks ago. People are trading down to tuna fish from chicken. Uh, that is still the environment out there, and Kroger looks to be benefiting from it. Or they're trading down to Kroger brand. Kroger. It's not called Kroger brand, though, I don't think. I'm not, at touching, Kroger's. I'm not, I'm not touching Kroger. Too. I don't remember what their store brand is called, but they're trading down to that mm-hmm. versus buying, the only can I don't t- know, Starkist or whatever. The-, I mean, the only private label tuna I trust is anything from uh, Costco. Costco, way to go. They come in the big cans. I think it was Kirkland. How can you not trust Kirkland, Kirkland tuna right. fish? Trader Joe's. I go for Trader Joe's okay. also. That's, that's good too. That's store brand as well. Um, our, our crack director, by the way, bringing us the information that it was Flamingo Racing oh, ringing so the opening bell mm-hmm. there, which is a cycling team. Uh, Flamingo Racing's mission to provide opportunities for women with diverse backgrounds to pursue their goals in women's cycling. So Before that's we go, up there. I, I must correct myself. You know, we're getting a lot of positive feedback on, on Kroger here from the Yahoo Finance uh, community. Yes, big fans. Big fan. Uh, clean stores, well spaced, lots of good fresh bakery items. They sell wine, uh, good quality store brand meat. Just saying, as one of our uh, va- awesome teammates just uh, was slacking to us uh, here in the early going. So maybe Kroger deserved this quarter. Eight cent beat, good sales gain. Oh, now All you're more excited about it. Well, you know, <laughs> I-, I need to go to Kroger. I need to go to Kroger.